Welcome to the guide on Copilot in Whiteboard. Today we're going to uncover the dynamic features of this powerful tool designed to enhance your collaborative and creative endeavors. We're going to navigate through the seamless integration of AI, Copilot, and the real-time interaction and discover how Copilot and Whiteboard can elevate your projects to new heights. All right, let's get started. So in Whiteboard, we're going to select a new Whiteboard. When we do that, we notice down at the bottom, we have a Copilot button. And there are ideas here to work with. So right now it's Suggest, because we have the ability to use a prompt to suggest getting started in our whiteboard. So I'm going to put in a prompt, create a joint storyboard for our video production, something basic. It's not a really good prompt because it doesn't have all the elements. That right there is the goal, right? But usually you have a goal, context, and expectation. But right now, keeping it simple so we can have a very basic whiteboard start. So it's suggesting elements. So it's asking, what do we want? Do we want these elements in here? We can delete them if we don't want it. We can generate more if we need to, or we can hit edit and go back to edit our prompt to begin with, maybe to make it more specific. And then you hit it again and it creates the draft. I'm gonna insert it. So now it's inserted and we have all of our suggestions that it gave us. If I click off of it, now these are editable individually, right? So I can move them around, we can work with them to analyze it. And it's pretty basic start, but we still have Copilot down here. If I click on that, now the other elements are highlighted. So I'm going to say categorize. It's putting a box around what we're working on, and I hit categorize these notes. So the AI is going through, and it's categorizing them and color coding the notes, along with putting titles across the top. You can revert it if you don't like it. You can regenerate it if you want it to look a little bit different or you can keep it, and I'm gonna keep it. So now we can come back to working on it again, move it around if we need to. And when we go back down to Copilot again, we have Summarize. So if I were to click Summarize, it's gonna look at all the notes that we have, all the input we have collaboratively with everybody who's sharing and working together, and it's gonna give us a summary of what we've worked on. This is great because we also have the ability to copy this component and paste it in other locations so that we can use it as a loop component. So that right there is the use of Copilot in Whiteboard, only limited by your imagination and your needs. As you develop your needs and use Whiteboard to express those, you're gonna come up with many more suggestions and uses and Copilot is there to help you along the way.